with ZTP Magazine here with Doyle. How you doing, Doyle? I'm doing great. How you doing? I'm doing great. It's a uh, it's a great night finally in Columbus. Uh, I know you're traveling around all the time, but Columbus has been uh, really cold uh, for just pretty much all winter. So uh, we're happy to get out, hear some good music, have some decent weather out here. How's your tour going? Great. Cool. Uh, so the first thing I want to wanted to talk about, is, and I'm sure everybody asks you about it, is a hot sauce. Now I, I interviewed. Um, <laughs> I interviewed Bumblefoot uh, last year, and he's doing a hot sauce. Uh, is there uh, any kind of like underground competition I don't know about going on with hot sauce? Not that I know about. So. The guy from. Uh, the name of that band. I never remember. I'll get it before the interview's over. He sends me his hot sauce, and I eat it. Um, I can't remember the name. So, uh huh. It's a famous band too. It's called. Uh, I forget what it's called. You know, it's got some guy with a sombrero on the cover. So I'm guessing this is for me. Yeah. So I you usually. Said, you said the magic word. Today's magic word was hot sauce. So I'm going to do the rest of the interview uh, with my mouth burning. Is it really hot? I have this for you. Oh. Uh, oh my God, he ate it. That's actually got really good flavor. Really, really good flavor. But I'm not going to eat another one right now. Goddamn Skippy, it's good. So, did you make that yourself? It was all you, or? No, I had a, I had a hand in it and maybe a foot. Cool. That's special ingredients in there. Uh-huh. Special ingredients. Um, that's actually one of the better hot sauces I've ever had because usually hot sauce. vegan, hundred percent vegan hot sauce. I've got a couple of friends that would like that. Slaves that were making it, so it's cruelty free and uh, fair trade. And yeah. Tell me about Abominator. The hot sauce. The hot sauce and the uh, album. How's it going? Okay, the hot sauce is gonna make your asshole whistle. <laughs> That's why I only had one. Everybody who cries that this one is not hot enough, the Abominators, we're going to stick that one up your ass as far as it could go. Uh, the album, the album's really good. Uh, we have another album we're working on. We were going to do the drums right before this tour, but the drummer that's doing it, his grandmother died, so he couldn't come do it. And uh, probably do it after the tour, finish it up, got to title it, do the artwork. We, didn't have, we don't know what we're calling it yet. Do you guys do your own artwork? Do you have somebody that you uh, you like to use? Yeah, we do it ourselves. That's awesome. Um, so the uh, the hot sauce is also going to be called Abominator? The new one, yeah. This one's called Made in Hell. And you're going for hotter? Well, everybody's crying, so that's what they get. And so the album's going to be hotter as well? Yeah. So um, you're going to have the next album crowdsourced? Is that is that correct? I believe so. I have to ask my associate the details on that. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing you guys have never done that before? No. All right, so um, how many more stops do you guys have on this tour? Forty. Forty stops? <laughs> well, uh, so... It, that's a lot of stops. And you you were just here in Columbus, uh, it seems like under a year ago, at uh, Ace of Cups. Oh, Ace of Cups, I remember that name. With a nice red backdrop in the background. Makes for great pictures. <laughs> Don't remember. So, um, Good crowd. one of your fans here tonight, uh, and I, I was, I've heard that you get asked the question, what's your favorite horror movie? I'm not going to ask that, but yeah, she wants to know what's your favorite <laughs> romantic comedy. I told her I would ask you. Romantic comedy? Yeah. I'm going to say uh, Along Came Polly or Shallow Howl. That not not bad, not bad. <laughs> and or, and or that that works. So along came Polly and Shallow Hal, and shout out from Doyle. It's funny because my girlfriend, she's like, I hate romantic comedies with like Ben Stiller and Jennifer Aniston. It's like, that's the movie I want you to watch. They're both in it. It's fucking hilarious. So, 
you, obviously you spend a lot of time on the road. If you get five minutes to yourself, just by yourself, what are you reading? What are you listening to? I don't read. Uh, I listen to Arch Enemy. I listen to Cancer Slug. I listen to Black Sabbath, Pantera, Slipknot. So, is there anybody that you've not played with that you've always wanted to play with? Right now, Arch Enemy. I want to tour with Arch Enemy. Well, I appreciate your time. That's it. Okay. Robin, you interview me. You're really good at it. <laughs> give, it give her the mic. You You're want to take it? No, you retired now? That's it? I'm retired? Duck, 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 moose is over. I got another gig now. Uh, no. All right. I got, I got one more question I'm just curious about. What do you what do you do to stay in, like, beast mode the whole time you're on tour? I mean, you can't, like, go use a gym. Are you, like, under the bus pushing it up or something on tour? Yes. No, we bring weights. I, I do sit-ups right here, crunches, and then I go in there. They bring the weights out. I do them. They put them back. And we go about our day. Consistency. That's how you do it. There you go. So I do have one more question. Uh, watching you play, I don't think I've ever seen such a brutal guitar player. As just the way you play and, and, and how you just how you abuse that guitar. Beautiful guitar, by the way. But uh, are you constantly going through strings? I mean, you ever have any like mishaps on stage? Oh yeah. Because you beat the you beat the fuck out of it. Yeah, they've all been broken in half a couple times. And they're all glued together, and we go to Home Depot when they break and get metal <laughs> some wood glue brackets and shit and screw it together. What's, what's the back of the neck look like, Frankenstein? Uh, it's it's been glued a few times, you know. Good thing there's a lot of Home Depots around, so. Yeah, that's true. But uh, that, that's about all I got. I know you guys uh, are getting ready to hop on stage here shortly. And uh, I can't wait to see you. Uh, hopefully I can elbow some people and yeah. get right up front and get some good pictures. That would be great. Um, appreciate it, man. All right.